What's happening, folks? It's your guy Rashad out here at Action Sports Bar and Grill in Kent, Washington. Got another follow me to work, day in the life of a food truck owner, bar owner, restaurant owner, all that. Uh, today's event was catered. Hashtag we cater. We can do all different types of catering events. We can drop service, we can do banquet style, we can pull the food, food truck up to your location, however you want to do it. But uh, this particular event, it was a uh, food truck event service. We pulled up and fed about 120 very happy golfers. So uh, as always with these videos, if you like them, which I hope you do, make sure uh, to say so. A comment below, let us know what you like, any other questions. Um, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications so you can find out when we're dropping new stuff. We would appreciate it very much. So yeah, day in the life. Something like day in the life. Sneak peek. <laughs> Hope y'all enjoy. All right. What's happening, folks? It's your guy Rashad out here at Action Sports Bar and Grill in Kent, Washington. Formerly Carriage Square Bar and Grill in Kent, Washington. Took about a month off. Well, I shouldn't say I took about a month off. It's been about a month since we dropped our last video. And uh, that is mostly my fault because the truck arrived and we're busy as hell. <laughs> so we've been busy hiring people, training people, um, working out some kinks. Uh, we've got a new POS system coming in. We've had new furniture, new kitchen equipment coming in. Uh, in the last month, uh, fryer, uh, gosh, another freezer, uh, the walk-in went down for a week. We had a heat wave. It's, it's been nuts. I uh, got new bartenders in here, new kitchen staff, and I have a food truck manager. So, uh, with all of that in place, I actually have a second to <laughs> hit, hit record before I get started on a day. So uh, that's kind of the update right now. Uh, we have been uh, really kind of uh, mellow with the food truck so far since in the first month we've had it. Uh, we've done a couple events, mostly charity stuff is what we've been doing. Um, gives us a chance to give back and also gives us a chance to, um, you know, kind of run through and have trial runs without the pressure and expectation uh, that come with paid guests. Um, so uh, it's a win for everybody. Get to feed some people, which is a big part of why we got the truck to begin with, is to do feeding ministry. And then the added benefit of, uh, you know, we, we've worked out some things. So uh, she's a beast. Still don't have a name for her, just affectionately calling her big girl. But um, yeah, she's a monster and can crank. Ah, oh, I'm in love. So today we're doing a event um, for the Kent Rotary Club, their AM club. One of our regulars happens to be the president of the Rotary. We have a few guests and regulars who come in who are members of that club. And so they're doing uh, this yearly fundraiser out at a nice local uh, golf course. So we're gonna go out there. Our specials and the way the truck, op truck operates for um, corporate events or parties is we can pretty much do any special that we featured in the last three years. So um, these guys wanted our barbecue plate. So they're going to get a couple of sides, a couple of proteins, uh, salad. We'll, you know, obviously everything is smoke enhanced. Um, it's delicious. Um, homemade barbecue sauces. So uh, that's what they're going to get today. But we can do tacos. Um, we did a charity event where we did breakfast burritos. Um, we can do regular burritos. We can do, excuse me, we've um, taken our brisket mac and cheese out there. We can do pulled pork sandwiches. We've done smoked beef franks, smoked sausage, uh, smoked meatloaf, smoked meatballs. Uh, so pretty much... <laughs> Even the kale salad, we smoke the cranberries that go in there. So um, we can, the, the, the menu can be kind of whatever you like, uh, depending on what, you know, obviously there's some limitations to it. But for most events, we leave it to what the guests, what they want to go with. So these guys are going with uh, our barbecue plate. So uh, I figured I would turn the camera on and give you a uh, behind the scenes of an event day and what it looks like. Obviously, um, I, my day start early because uh, that's when you can get shit done before anybody is here. So uh, I take advantage of that. Uh, and 
little insider info, get you a, a checklist. Make sure you're making to-do lists along the way. If you're like me and um, you know you got a million things going on, you have to give yourself some kind of system to make sure that you don't forget stuff. So even if it's just handwritten and ugly like mine is, it's better than nothing. So go with it. Even if it's a combination of a whole bunch of sticky notes, whatever it is that you have to get done to execute an event, make sure that you have a visual list of it. Uh, fortunate for me, uh, our general manager is also uh, someone who has a lot of corporate experience and understands the importance of having systems in place. So she's a really, really good list maker. So any crappy list I ever put together, she can always turn into something nice and you know easily formatted and um so as a team it works out pretty good uh she's long been a mentor of mine and it's nice to have her in the house uh to be um able to help execute this kind of stuff uh making sure that we've got a system in place to do everything we need to do to have successful events so uh looking at my checklist we got a lot to do today um, yesterday we already got the chicken and the brine, uh, so we'll pull that out today and we'll sp start smoking chicken as soon as I turn this thing off. Um, I'll drain that out and start getting chicken and the smoker. Their sides they're doing is mac and cheese and uh, smoked baked beans. Uh, the beans we put together, the kitchen manager and myself, we put together last night. Um, it's nice if it can sit overnight, kind of let the flavors meld before they even hit the heat. So uh, that's already ready to go. I'll get that in the smoker in the next two hours, right after the chicken's out. Um, let's see, mac and cheese is their other side. Uh, mac and cheese I like to make the day of. Can you get it prepped and in the cheese sauce and cold, ready to bake the day before? Absolutely. And honestly, some people will argue that it tastes better that way. Um, most of the time, though, we typically do it the day of, if time permits. Time is able, so um, as soon as this turns off, <laughs> we'll start the water uh, for that and then uh, get the chicken in the smoker, like I said. Uh, the pork has been going for... 14 hours so far, so um, 12 hours so far, sorry. 12 hours so far, it will uh, it will come out and go on the uh, nice steady hot hold for uh, a couple hours before we even start to pull it and, and start to add some of that rendering back in there. The pulled pork is so good. The, the pulled brisket is also freaking fantastic too. So um, yeah, pork is done, chicken's about to go in. Uh, the Caesar salad is, you know, easy enough. We obviously, um, we like to make homemade dressings everywhere, every time we can. Things like salads, we'll dress that when we actually get to the event with some nice crispy cold romaine. It'll be fantastic. Um, so yeah, we're ready to rock and roll for this. I'm excited because it is, like I said, the first opportunity for our new food truck manager to actually work a full shift on the food truck. Uh, so with her arrival hopefully this means we can start getting the truck out not hopefully with her arrival it means that we will start getting the truck out uh, a couple of times a week uh, which is a lot better than when it was just reliant on my energy and the general manager's energy because you know there's only so much you can do but I told you we getting at it got the uh, event in a couple of hours so obviously the countdown begins can't do a truck event without the truck so you know, right. me and the facilities manager, uh, we're about to we're about to go pick it up right now and get it done, um, get it set up. Obviously, came down, swooped up, old girl, old big girl. She looking real dusty though. So we gotta get her looking right. Wash, wash. We don't need that. You gotta get a shiny. Not looking very good. Came down, switched out whips, and getting ready to rock and roll. Ooh, that looks dusty. Alright, we ready. Let's get it. Let's get it. Got the truck. 
Let's get it back to the spot, get it cleaned up, load it up. Let's go get this money. All right, so event day <laughs> on the truck and it's a beehive of activity already here at the bar. Um, I did not make it easier on myself by my liquor order this week. I forgot that I took advantage of a pallet deal on Tito's. So if y'all don't know what a pallet, a pallet is 50 cases of liquor. And for a bar our size, that would be like two weeks of every kind of liquor that we had 50 cases would be. So to get it all at once, it's just a lot. Let me just say it that way. It's a lot of fucking Tito's. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> I gotta put that away now. It's a good thing that I'm well staffed today. We got the truck out front. Facilities manager slash truck manager is uh, my big brother Jamar. He's out there right now, getting her looking good and pretty. Uh, we've got Danielle, the daytime lead, handling the bar business, so I don't have to worry about that right now. Thank goodness. We've got um, our kitchen guys hard at work doing everything back there. The truck manager is in the back. She's got oh gosh, chicken going into the smoker, pork coming out, beans going in, mac and cheese is getting finished up, and it's getting ready to go into the oven. We are two and a half hours from pulling out of here on the way to the event, so time-wise, we're tracking pretty well. Uh, general manager is doing what she does best, filling in all of the gaps and the things that I miss. We were missing the romaine lettuce. Um, we weren't missing it. It's just not coming until the truck delivery which is late right now so she went down there to get some of that taken care of so we don't have to stress about that any last minute things she's going to pick up out and about i'm going to figure out how to fit 50 fucking cases of liquor in this tiny 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 ass office but i'm gonna figure it out somehow yeah um what else we got going on uh we'll start loading on the truck i'm gonna go out there right now and turn the freezer on the refrigeration on and the ovens on so that we can anything that's ready can start going and holding into the truck because we have a tiny ass kitchen and all of this activity is almost too much for it so that's a lot but that's what we got going on so i'm gonna walk around say hey to everybody um we'll see y'all on the flip side see when i said i have a lot of it's a lot of booze i wasn't bullshitting that's a lot of tito's that is a lot of Tito's. So I gotta figure out how, how to make all that fit in that tiny, 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 tiny office. We gonna work it out though. Bar looks great. Smells fantastic in here. If y'all can smell it, it's amazing. Say hi, Danielle. Hi. Danielle, our daytime supervisor, she's saying hey. Hey, she's come see me. Yeah, come say hey. <laughs> <laughs> she's handling business right now behind the bar. Um, the calm before the storm, all these yahoos are going to get in here and play some pull tabs, start drinking a little bit. Um, you can see the truck chilling out front barely. There she is, old big girl out there. Oh, let's see what big bro's doing. Yeah, he's out there getting her looking right. Ooh, the sun's even coming out a little bit for her. Almost all those, Best in Kent. Oh, yeah, by the way, Best in Kent competition is going right now. That's right. We need your votes so we can three-peat. Let's do this. You know, 2019 was good, 2020 was good, you know, but we're trying to take it for 2022. We got new or bartenders, 2022. Let's get it. New bartenders, we're trying to get breakfast, all that jazz. So get online, vote for us, Kent Reporter. We need them votes. Anyways, another piece of freaking equipment that went down on me. Glass chillers getting ready to get on out of here. Okay, let's go see what kind of crazy activity we got going on in the 
in the kitchen. Boom, say hi, Crystal. <laughs> that was as good as we get. Say what up, Pat. What up, what up? What up, what up? Let's go. Kitchen crew back here. What up, Manny? Hey. Hey, he's, he's like, I'm fucking working. Give me a break. Give me a fucking break. Get out of my kitchen. Get out of my kitchen. <laughs> Gloria's over here hard at work. Smoking that chicken. Yeah, we see you, baby. We see you, baby girl. Yeah, that chicken just about ready. 12 more minutes. And we'll get it out. Ooh, we got salads getting prepped up. We got sauces being made. Oh, yeah. Crystal's in here, hands elbow deep in the mac and cheese. I'm going to finish that up and get that in the oven in the next 20 minutes as well, too. Looking good, looking good, looking good, guys. Looking good. I love it. Oh, yeah. This, I was talking about that new truck manager. That's This is her. Say hi, Crystal. Hi. Hi. This is going to be her first event on the truck today. Whoop, whoop, she's ready to rock and roll. Got her I company do. shoes on, too. Yes, I do. <laughs> All right. Okay. A little behind the scenes action for y'all. A little neighborhood sports bar. Trying to do its thing. All right, so I got to get to work. Got to make this thing happen. I got to somehow make all this fit. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> you know we got the vibe going out here out of Druids Glen Golf Course waiting for all these golfers to break from Kent Rotary finish their 18 they got the pavilion and who's feeding them? Action Sports Bar and Grill we're ready you know it's a vibe out here get our music going see how the team's doing in here what's going on team? Everybody's groovy, why not? Why not? That's how it should work. Everything's blazing hot, ready for everybody to come. Blazing hot, freezing cold. One or the other, we ready, baby. We ready. Oh, good. 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 Oh, that's right. All right, when I come out this back door, you guys can close it up, too. Then we'll stop and get some of that draft out of the way. All the food holding in the hot and holding. It's ready to rock and roll. Let's see how we're doing on the other side. This is great. I love it. Team effort, baby. Dead man in charge out here, Druids. I know that guy. He used to be my kitchen manager way back in the day. It's funny how it's a small world. Beautiful day out here. Druids Glen. Way too tough a course for me to play. But I play best ball anyways. I just blaze up. I like to be out here in the sun with my friends. That's what it's about for me. I'm not, I'm not getting paid. I'm not on tour. I ain't got nothing to prove. So I just come out and chill. It's a good venue for Big Girl. Let's see if we can make some golfers happy today out in the Kent Rotary. Some of these guys know us already. So it should be a welcome reception. We'll let you know how it's going later on, y'all. Check in with you as we get finished. Girls looking good. 